Alrighty, fam. For some reason today, a bunch of Xbox news and rumors decided to drop, and I've been spending a lot of my time passing through everything, trying to make sense of it all, and in particular, attempting to separate fact from fiction. Obviously, that's easier said than done when it comes to the games industry. You just don't know what you can trust out there, especially when it comes to anything Xbox related. But I believe I am about ready to make today's video though you can sense the hesitation in my voice. Regardless, today we're going to be talking about apparently Final Fantasy VII Remake launching on the Xbox. We'll be covering the news that unfortunately there won't be any shadow drops at this week's upcoming Xbox Developer Direct event. We'll be covering the rumors surrounding Indiana Jones' supposed release date. And finally, we'll be covering the Stalker 2 situation. So if you enjoy this video, if it helps, please like it. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new with notifications if that is possible. But let's get right into to the news. So today we're going to start off talking about Final Fantasy VII Remake. Obviously this game launched about four years ago or so and the game was always earmarked as a timed exclusive. We did of course get that PC release a couple of years after launch but a lot of people since then have been asking well what about Xbox? There's been a lot of speculation, a lot of rumor, a lot of leaks etc etc and we saw that last year Phil Spencer actually flew directly to Japan, specifically Tokyo, to speak with Square Enix about releasing games on the platform and essentially trying to to bolster their relationship with the company. And in an interview with IGN last year, I'll link it in the description below, Phil Spencer said the following, quote, so you'll hear more. I'm not going to push them. They're going to have to find their own rhythm. But having them make a commitment to Xbox was really important both to me, and I've heard it from the community, to the community as well. And 14 was more of a commitment, end quote. Obviously there he's referring to Final Fantasy 14 that's going to be coming to the Xbox. In fact, today, Xbox kind of released something in regards to the open beta, and they pulled it because the date was wrong. But yes, that's going to be coming to Xbox. But obviously at that meeting, it's it's clear. They would have talked about other games. It wouldn't have just been about Final Fantasy 14. And if I I was a betting man, which I'm not, but if I was a betting man, I would almost guarantee they also talked about Final Fantasy Remake in that meeting as well. Now, is there anything more concrete that we can go off of? Not really, but we've got some leaks and rumors to talk about. So recently, Jess Corden, if you don't know him, he's a really well-renowned journalist. He covers a lot of insider information when it comes to the games industry, especially Xbox stuff. Recently, in an episode of the Xbox 2 podcast, I'll link that in the description below, Jess said the following, quote, I've got evidence tentatively that there are discussions about Final Fantasy VII for Xbox. So he does say tentatively, he doesn't really know. He just He's seeing certain things here and there. And I've spoken to Jez about this kind of stuff in the past. He likes to get more like different sources and actual concrete stuff before he makes a full article about it. So to me, this suggests that he's a little bit more hesitant about this. Like it's just discussions at this stage. And as I mentioned, of course they would have discussed it when Phil Spencer literally flew to, to Japan to see them, right? So there's no doubt there's been discussions, but whether it's actually happening, who really knows? We're still getting Final Fantasy XIV as well, and Jez suspects a little bit that, let's say Final Fantasy VII Remake was coming to the Xbox, they wouldn't want to announce it anytime soon, because obviously this year, a big focus for Square Enix is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, right? And Jez suspects they don't want to take away from the shine and the intention of that game, especially for PlayStation's sake, because it is going to be a timed exclusive, so expect that PC release sometime after that. But what about Xbox 2? If we get the remake, maybe we get Rebirth. Who really knows? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But let's talk about the second news that, unfortunately, and this is the bad news today, there won't be any shadow drops at this week's Xbox Developer Direct event. So there was an Xbox Wire article today. I'll link it in the description below. It is entitled, How to Watch the Xbox Developer Direct 2024 on Thursday, January 18. By the way, I'm going to be streaming it. So keep it locked to this channel. I'll schedule a video sometime tomorrow so you can see when the live stream will go live. But all the way, all the way at the bottom of that article, there is a Q&A and Xbox asked itself essentially the following. When will the games in the show be released? And the answer, all the games in this year's developer direct will be arriving later with more details to be shared in the program. So what they're saying here is that all the games, literally all the games, you know, that, that are going to be shown at the developer direct are going to be releasing at some stage later. They're trying to be essentially firm that there aren't going to be any shadow drops whatsoever. 
And I believe Xbox is trying to combat a lot of the rumors and leaks that I covered in my recent video about it, suggesting that Xbox was planning another shadow drop similar to Hi-Fi Rush of last year. Now, does that kind of discount or, or kind of ruin the credibility of those rumors and of those supposed leaks? Depends how you take it, like maybe they were planning it and decided to change their mind, or maybe there just wasn't any shadow drops whatsoever and people were kind of talking out of their ass. Believe what you want, but at least it's good to have confirmation there won't be any shadow drops whatsoever. However, this doesn't mean there won't be any surprises, and I'll talk about a, a rumor in a second when it comes to surprises, but they're not saying these are the only games we're talking about. They're saying the games that we do talk about will be releasing later or arriving later, right? So there is still a possibility, there is still a chance that there will be some sort of surprise announcement at the Developer Direct. However, it might not be a major game, and let's get to that right now. So first of all, uh, Insider Gaming, in the midst of all of this news, re released an article today, today, and they talked about two things. One, the Developer Direct event, and also two, r rumors surrounding the release date of Indiana Jones. Let's talk about the Developer Direct stuff first, because we are just talking about it. So... In that article, they say the following, quote, One thing Insider Gaming sources have mentioned, however, is a fifth game being shown during the show. That said, it's not expected to be a major game. So, as I mentioned, there is a chance for a surprise announcement during the Developer Direct, and Insider Gaming apparently has sources confirming that. So whether you want to believe them or not, I don't know, take them with a grain of salt. But are we, are we going to be surprised if there's a surprise? Of course not. Like I reckon Xbox probably has something up their sleeve. It was always going to be hard for that to be a shadow drop. As I mentioned in that previous video, shadow drops are very, very hard to do. Lots of planning, lots of coordination, lots of effort to make sure it doesn't get leaked. But surprises are much, much easier. They're still hard, especially for Xbox that gets leaked all the time. But they're a little bit easier, so I wouldn't be surprised if there was a surprise at the Developer Direct. And Insider Gaming seems to think so with their sources. So let's see if it actually happens. But they do say that it's not expected to be a major game. Now, maybe that means it's going to be like an existing game on another platform that's coming to the Xbox. Maybe it's like a smaller game, an indie style game, maybe even a double A game. I don't know. But even if it's not a major game, that's still a big deal to me. If it's a genuine surprise that no one knew about and no one even kind of speculated or had rumors or leaks about, then to me... That's a major event in any event. So let's see what happens. But now let's talk about Indiana Jones. So in that same article, Insider Gaming also said the following, quote, while the company didn't specifically state it, Insider Gaming sources have said that the current plan is for the Indiana Jones game to be released later this year. So obviously we're seeing Indiana Jones in the Developer Direct event this week. I think it's like 10 minutes of gameplay or so. But Xbox never specifically said when the game is releasing, whether it's this year or next year. I believe... Either they're keeping the cards close to their chest because they don't know when the game is going to be ready, that there's every chance of that, or two, they actually want to save it for the developer direct event. They're going to have a big release set announcement right at the end of the show. I currently, and I could be wrong, I'm leaning towards the game actually being pushed back to next year. I just, just based on everything, I just can't believe that it's going to come out this year, but I reckon I'm going to be proven wrong, especially if insider gaming sources are actually to be believed. And Xbox is clearly very bullish on the game. Maybe Machine Games is ready to release the game this year. But I just wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be delayed. Let's see. But talking about delays, let's talk about Stalker 2. So Stalker 2, we know, is an exclusive. But unfortunately today, GSC Game World, the developer, released a new trailer today that was entitled Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl Final Release Date Announcement. They use that term very explicitly, final, because we've had many release dates for Stalker 2 in the past. Maybe not specific release dates, but we've had a lot of release windows. But yes, they released their trailer today. And it said in that trailer, the game is going to be finally released on the 5th of September this year, which is obviously a bit of, del of a delay. We knew the game was going to be coming out before roughly Q1 of this year, and they seem to be pretty firm on that release date. But turns out they're going to have to delay it a little bit more. They also explain why they, they did it, and I'll talk about that in a second. But the good news for you Xbox fans is that it's going to be a day one release on Game Pass. So on September 5th, you're going to be able to play Stalker 2 on Game Pass, which is awesome. The game is looking great. And I reckon if you have the ability, try and play the original Stalker games on the PC. But yeah, it's still a little, little bit of a bummer that it's going to be delayed. I was looking forward to a Q1 release, even if it was like late Q1 in March. So let's see what they had to say about the delay. So they tweeted out the following today, quote, 
On the technical side of things, the game need, needs more time. Throughout the frankly challenging development process, I'll talk about that in a second, we understood the time was of the um, team's main essence. Seeing the scope of polishing and understanding that we can't push your patience too much, we were absolutely dedicated to releasing the game in Q1 2024, and we worked extra hard to meet the release window. That, however, doesn't change the fact that at the beginning of this year, we still witnessed a certain amount of technical imperfections that hold Stalker 2 below the expected standards for the final experience our fans are waiting for. The final release date for Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl is now September 5, 2024. So, I'm absolutely not holding this against GSC because I think I talked about it a little bit in my recent video. This game has been through absolute development hell. Like the, the company went bust, it then reformed, it was a, a release date was announced, and then obviously COVID was a thing, and then you had Russians invasion of, of Ukraine, and they were based in the Ukraine and they had to move their headquarters to a different country. They've been through everything, absolute and utter hell. And I said I was surprised this game was actually going to release at all. Like, I think a lot of other people in that situation probably would have just called it because how, how else do you progress through all of that? But apparently, GSC has managed to do that. And the game, hopefully, they do say final release date, but hopefully the game is going to be releasing September 5th this year. I really hope for their sake that it's a huge success. To develop a game for that long, I don't know what their funding situation is like. It costs a lot of money. The, the amount of money that would have been spent on the extra dev time and resources just is astronomical. I, I, I couldn't even estimate how many millions of dollars more Stalker 2 would have cost as, as a result. So for their sake, I hope it's a resounding success, but we will only be able to find out in September of this year. But anyways, everyone, let me know what you think about all today's Xbox news in the comments below. And until next time, this has been Alone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourselves. And would you kindly keep fighting the good fight? Thank <laughs> you.